Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the foreign exchange market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 6, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to copy us over here at Etero. And if you want our full technical analysis, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can also get access to our courses and our online trades. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, it it has been absolutely hammered the last four trading days. So we have to, of course, on Friday, we had a positive rally here, but today it just fell off a cliff down roughly half a percent. And now we are going just above the 200 moving average. Um, we are probably going to go a little bit lower than this. Uh, we can see that the last time we basically fell, we fell towards uh, the middle of the Bullinger band or the 20 exponential moving average before rallying. If we break below the 20 exponential, then we could head all the way down to the 50, down here at 91.35. If we rally from the 20 exponential, then we are most likely going to retest these the previous highs here, or this just us will go higher. Then that will, of course, have major implications for, for commodities uh, and also stocks and so on. So we have seen a massive rally in, for example, uh, especially the tech stocks today as... Um, as um, as the Nasdaq has been rallying significantly, so this may be a one-off. We may just see a pullback here and then continue rallying up towards 95. Uh, but if we break below here, then we'll most likely go significantly lower. We have been making lower highs, so we've basically been going um, higher in the US dollar index, and that has had major implications for. For, for example, um, most of the currency pairs that we are going to look at today. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So as you can see, we have rallied well above the 50 moving average. We're trading at 39.90 at this moment. Technical indicators are all turning around. So MACD is still in negative territory, but we have crossed the single line. So if we go into to um, positive territory, then we will continue uh, this uptrend. We have been basically trending downwards for the last uh, few uh, few months, actually, and now it looks like we have basically found uh, found basically a foothold, and basically we are rallying. Of course, this has also due to the U.S. dollar uh, depreciating, and that works uh, as a bullish for this currency pair. Otherwise, uh, other technical indicators are also very bullish. So. We're trading above the 50 moving average and will most likely close above the 50 moving average, which is also a very bullish shine. So at this moment, we'll most likely target the previous highs here, which also is the top of the bullish band at 14.00. Uh, break below the 50 moving average, we'll most likely find major support all the way down here at 13.67. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. So we have pulled back quite a bit. Uh, we are, we have basically been on this massive uptrend here. We found major support all the way down here at 102. And since then, we basically have been rallying all the way up to 110. So we are trading at almost at the same place where we were last year. But uh, at this current stage, we got way up ahead of ourselves. We got uh, very outstretched here and outside of the bullish band and usually this pulls back towards the middle before rally we see basically what happened here when the outside of the bullish band traded sideways towards the middle of the bullish band and then rallied um, to the upside and so at this point um, it is expected to for this to pull back towards the middle and then continue rallying if we break the, the the 20 exponential moving average here then we could head towards the bottom of the bullish band at 107 otherwise 110 it will most likely be where we'll find major resistance technical indicators they are all turning around it was basically about time as with this was significantly overbought as well the rsi is still at 70 still on the edge of being overbought technical indicators otherwise are all turning around so momentum is to the downside but still this is a buying the dip or has been for the last few months for example here we have been bouncing off the 20 exponential or at least the four last time we had major pullbacks so let's look at the euro us dollar so also here we can see that the depreciation of the us dollar has been very bullish for this uh, currency pair we are rallying up towards the 20 exponential and this is technically nothing really new we have been rallying up towards the 20 exponential in the last few well, basically a math and a half. So here, 
rallied to the 20, broke down way below the bullish band, rallied again and again. And at the moment, it looks like we're just continuing uh, this, uh, these rallies towards the 20, which most likely or have been sold into. We have this crossing of the 20 exponential and the, and the 200 moving average. We most likely within the next um, uh, week uh, or two, we'll see the, the crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average, which usually is a, a very bearish sign. Technical and uh, at this current stage are turning around. Uh, MACD is still in negative territory, so we're still in a downtrend, but it's crossing the signal line to the upside, which is a bullish sign. So it doesn't mean that we are going to rally uh, significantly here. We most likely just see more of the same where we rally up towards the 20 exponential and then break down. If we manage to break above the 20 exponential, then we'll most likely find major resistance here at the 50 moving average at the 11, 90, and 90. Eight. So at this current stage, uh, rallies towards the 20 will most likely be sold into and uh, support will most likely be found at these previous lows here at the 11.71. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. So also here we can see that the depreciation of the US dollar the last uh, few days has seen a rally in this currency pair. So we're rallying up towards the 20 exponential. We did test it here and then it broke down quite significantly. Um, so time will tell whether or not we will see the same thing happen. Usually last time we tested the 50, 20 exponential, it took quite a long time, a week and a half before we basically fell. So we may stick around here for a while. If we manage to break above the 20 and the 50, then we most likely head to these previous highs here at 0 0.78. Break below here, most likely find uh, support back at 0 0.75, 31. And if that breaks, then we'll head towards the 200 moving average. We have actually been close to the 200 moving average for a really long time. So we have had these breakdowns below the 20 exponential, for example, here, and then continue rallying. So we could see that, but at this current stage, uh, 20 exponential is still holding and is very um, resistant at this current stage. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. So the US dollar, Canadian dollar, we can see that it's just more of the same. We have been rallying up towards the 50 and broken down, rally up to the 50 and broke down, and then we're just continue the same pattern here. So at this current stage, yes, we are trading just underneath the middle of the Bollinger Band. Technical indicators, they are all turning around at this current stage. MACD is still in negative territory, we're still in downtrend and is about to cross the signal line. So we're basically just going to basically drop from this rally here towards the bottom of the bullish band at the 1241. That's what it's looking like at this current stage. Rallies up towards the 50 will most likely be sold in as that has been occurring uh, for the last uh, basically year. We have been rallying up towards 50 and then broke down nearly every single time. Occasionally we have rallied towards the top of the bullish band and then uh, broken down quite significantly. So um, the bigger the rally, the, uh, the harder the fall in this currency pair. So at this current stage, most likely going to head towards the bottom here at 12.42 uh, and rallies towards the 50 moving average will mostly to be sold into. Technical indicators are all turning around and are very bearish at this current stage. So, I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Eater or at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.